Hey you guys, I'm Kimberly with Millennial Moms and let's just say we have moved around quite a bit. So I'm here to give you guys my top moving tips. Hey you guys, welcome back to Millennial Moms. If you guys are new, we would love for you guys to join our little family here by pushing that red button down below and give this video a big ol' thumbs up. So if you guys have not been following me on my personal channel, which that link will be down below, we are in Arizona right now. We are currently moving to California. So we moved from California over to Virginia, Virginia over to Arizona. Now we're going back over to California. So needless to say, we have moved around quite a bit and we have learned a lot of lessons along the way. And we have done all sorts of different moves. We have done the move where Movers has packed us and drove through my husband's company. We have done it where the packers has packed us, but we had to locate everybody and transport our vehicle and everything like that. We have done it where we have hired movers to load up the truck, but we have packed, my husband's driven the truck. Like every move situation, we have done. So, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into tip number one. Number one, I learned this tip from a very good friend by the name of Tara. She went ahead and told me, pick a bathroom, take everything out of the bathroom that needs to get packed. Then you're gonna put a sign right on the door. Do not open, do not touch, do not pack. And in that bathroom, you're gonna stick everything that you need, your purse, that's not gonna get packed. It's literally gonna go with you. Your suitcase, um, whatever medicines, if you have a pet, the dog food, whatever it is that you do not want them to pack that you know you need to travel with, stick in that bathroom with that sign. Do not open, do not close, because it gives you somewhere for you to be able to stick all your stuff that you need to travel within, but it ensures you that it's not gonna get packed. And also let the movers know that the sign is there and make sure that they understand, do not open up the door, even though the sign already says it. Tip number two, we had to learn this one the hard way. We learned that not all moving companies go ahead and move safes. That's right. So when we went ahead and packed, because we packed a couple boxes ourselves the first time, and so when the movers went to go move the box with the safe, we had took everything out of it, but then you can hear the door rattling. So here's a tip get stuffing paper, a pillow, whatever it is, clothes, shove it in there to ensure that the door is not gonna rattle and then put the safe inside a box and go ahead and box it on up. That way they have no idea that they're moving the safe and you get your safe to your next location. Tip number three, if you have high-end purses or high-end jewelry or things that you just don't want the movers to know about, go ahead and pack that stuff up yourself, but put on the outside of the box something boring, something that the movers are never gonna wanna go ahead and get tempted to take, and put like kitchen utensils or kitchen cups or books or something that is or like sofa pillows or something that's completely boring to them that they would never guess that there are valuables inside the box and mark the box on the corner with a special little star so you know for sure that box is making it back to your new place tip number four is declutter 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 your stuff before you pack there is no reason why you should be moving junk or stuff that could have been donated try and minimize your stuff before you move and make sure you get it over to the church goodwill um, salvation army there's so many places and a lot of these places actually do free pickup so definitely declutter because there's no sense on bringing it over to the new house when you're just gonna get rid of it anyways. And last tip, tip number five, is we have found this to be the easiest way to move from state to state. And that is pack everything up yourself, rent the biggest U-Haul that you can, and hire local movers to move your stuff into the U-Haul truck. 
My husband has done this and he drove the U-Haul truck I followed behind inside our vehicle and we drove it to the new state, the new house. And then we hired local movers over there to unload the truck into the new house. We saved literally thousands of dollars by doing that, by just renting the U-Haul and having my husband drive it himself. So that is it for me today, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helps some of you guys out. If you guys have any more tips, please let me know along with all the other mamas down in the comments because we tend to move every couple years and I might need to go ahead and use your guys' tips. If you guys have not hit that red button down below by joining in the family here, you guys can do so by clicking right over there. If you guys missed yesterday's video, you guys can click right over there and check it out. Or if you guys want to see more from me, you guys can click right up there and that will take you straight over to my other videos. I'm on here every other Wednesday, so I will see you guys in about two weeks. And I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.